This portion of CardioSource Video News is brought to you by Medtronic. Welcome back to CardioSource Video News. I'm Dr. Randy Martin. There have been a lot of innovations in interventional cardiology and especially in stent technology. Joining us now is Dr. Peter Block to talk about the ISAR Test 5, a study that compared drug eluding stents. Peter, tell us what you've learned. I'm here with Yolinda Mahili from the Deutsches Herzzentrum in Munich, Germany, and Yolinda has just reported on the ISAR Test 5 trial. So, Yolinda, first off, tell me what the trial is. The ISAR Test 5 trial is the stent comparison trial aimed to compare a dual drug eluting stent with total limus eluting uh, stent. Um, the hypothesis of the trial was that the dual drug eluting stent is non inferior to the total limus eluting drug eluting stent, which is the Endeavour Resolute. The dual drug eluting stent is a stent um, developed in our center, in German Heart Center in Munich, um, within the framework of the ISAR project. It's a stent with uh, active compounds which are rapamycin and probucol, both of them mixed together and um, applied upon the surface of, upon the microporous surface of a um, um, bare metal stand. We don't need any polymer for this drug eluting stand. And the um, this stand was compared in our ISAR test 5 trial with the uh, Endeavour Resolute stand, which is a permanent polymer drug eluting stand. The primary endpoint was um, the combined incidence of cardiac death target basal related myocardial infarction and target lesion re uh, revascularization at one year. So you have one year results at this point, is that right, Yolinda, but not yet any longer results. So what did you find? Uh, we found that both stents are very comparable according to the primary endpoint. We had a device-oriented maze rate of 13% with both devices. We found also that we didn't have any difference between stents, both stents in different subgroups according to age, according to vessel size, according to gender or presence of diabetes with regard to the primary endpoint. The most important finding was also um, that both stand very, uh, were very comparable according to the safety out to one year. We had a definite probable stand thrombosis rate of 1.2% with both stands. We had in this study also uh, angiographic data at six months after the implantation of the stents, and we found that the stents were very comparable according to the instead late lumen loss with 0.3 millimeters for both of them, and according to the binary restenosis with 13% uh, for both of them. So really pretty good comparable outcomes for a non-polymer stent. Uh, looks like that's pretty promising because nobody likes to have polymer on the stand if they can possibly avoid sure. it, particularly for the late outcomes. Now, you're going to follow this out for yes. another year, yes. is that right? It's right. Well, I wish you the best. I hope that this trial shows us a lot more about whether a stent can or can't have polymer on it. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Medtronic proudly introduces Integrity BMS, now available in the U.S. Visit MedtronicStents.com for more information.